This here is from the Mail Online from June 6, 2024. Not fresh off the press, but not old either. It's called Giant Depp's Not Selling His 43 Million Pound France Mansion and instead has shelled out on huge renovations nine years after putting it on the market following split from Vanessa Parity. Let's see what we got. Giant Depp's planning renovations on his 43 million pound mansion in the south of France. It was reported the actor had once again reduced the price of his sprawling estate in the south of France nearly a decade after he first put it on the market. However, this is not the case. Why mention his age with something like this? If it's about dating, I guess some people want to know the age gap or whatever, but it's a castle. All right. They say Johnny's age. I didn't read it. It's a silly thing to include. In 2015, Johnny was said to be closing the chapter on his life with former partner Vanessa Parody after he put the former couple's sprawling estate on the market for £12 million. Johnny didn't sell the property at that time and now, nearly 10 years later, has planned to give the home a makeover. A source told Mail Online, Johnny remains the owner and the property is undergoing renovations. The Prize Caribbean star's decision to try to sell the home he spent 14 years and millions of pounds to restore in 2015 came just four months after Depp married Amber. An irritating thing to mention, I guess, but okay. The sprawling 37-acre property was marketed as fully furnished with DVDs still filling the bookshelves. Alexander Kraft, chairman and chief exec of Soldabives International Realty France, who was selling the sprawling property revealed, Johnny had decided to sell the plan Delator property to close this chapter of his life and move on. He hopes that someone else will enjoy the property as much as he did and bring him or her the same happiness it brought. The exclusive hamlet near the village of Plan Delator was bought in its entirety in 2001 by Johnny after he fell in love with both Parody and France. They go on to say he spent a lot of time there. He had a quiet life, grew vegetables, spent time with his children, you know, things like that. Sounds like a good period in his life. They say he bought it as a wreck, but then restored it. They end with this. Depp has had a colorful love life, but his property portfolio has been equally as varied. Over the years, the Pirates Caribbean star has amassed an impressive array of homes around the world with an island in the Caribbean, a French estate, and a sprawling Somerset where he currently seeks some solitude. However, due to his termless and very costly divorce from actress Amber Heard, which was finalized in January 2017, Depp was forced to get rid of some of his prized assets. Well, I guess they got to add in stuff like that to have some kind of article or else it would be a paragraph of Johnny's selling or not or whatever. But it seems like getting married to this person had a really, really negative effect. Obviously, we know that, but their recent claim, the recent news is that he's not selling it. And for me, or maybe you guys out there who can't own castles and properties around the world, kind of hard to relate to or think about a decision on it. But as far as the feeling, I don't know. I tend to think you should maybe keep it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.